beautiful. You always did have a talent for flower arranging. What are you doing here? Front door was wide open. Well, that certainly doesn't give you the right to walk through it. Oh, so you don't want to see me, huh? As a matter of fact, yes, I do. Mm-hmm. I thought so. Okay, come on. Give it your best shot. What you did the other day was absolutely preposterous. No, no. What would have been preposterous would have been for me to ignore your presence in the audience at my fashion show. Using my presence that way was such a blatant move on your part, and everybody in that room knew it. Everybody. Well, maybe. But the millions of people that read the newspaper the next day and saw the picture of you and me in that newspaper the next day knew only one thing. They knew that Stephanie Forrester, the grand dame on the L.A. fashion scene, attended the Sally Spectre fashion show and commented favorably on it. Go away. Just go away. Not yet. There's something else I have to say to you. And you are going to hear it. You have something you want to say to me? Yes, I do. Was I not effusive enough in my comments about your collection the other day? This doesn't have anything to do with the collection. This has to do with our children. My daughter, your son. Yes, they want to record an album. And I gather you disapprove of that. Well, I honestly feel that Thorne has better things to do with his life. Yes, but Macy doesn't feel that way. This is terribly important to her. What's your point? Well, my point is that I want to see this record deal come through. Because it means so much to Macy. And I'm just afraid it may not happen if there's any interference. From me? Yes, from you. Sally, I want what Thorne wants. I can see that he's very involved in this project. So, I mean, I have no reason to discourage it. Yeah, even though you don't approve of it. I know it's hard for you to believe. But I do not expect my children to live their lives according to my wishes. Honestly. All I can do is offer them the benefit of my own experiences in life, and then I have to accept their decisions. And then you, uh, you have to uh, approve of those decisions, huh? Well, those choices. I certainly accept this decision. Ah, always. Do you always do that? What are you getting at, Sally? Well, what I'm talking about is your other son, Ridge, who is about to be married. Now, do you approve and support his choice of a bride? Surely you do not expect me to stand here and discuss my personal family matters with you. Oh, come on, Stephanie. Nobody knows you the way I do. You despise Brooke Logan. Whatever I feel about her is between Brooke and me. <sighs> well, she's about to be your daughter-in-law. What of it? Well, I just thought you might give it some consideration. I mean, one of those nights when you're lying all alone in your bed in your fancy Beverly Hills mansion... You might think about the fact that maybe you were doing something wrong in the way you raised your kids. I mean, my daughter marries your son, and you couldn't stand her. You hated her. And now your older son, Ridge, he's getting married, and you can't stand the woman he's going to marry. And your two daughters, they couldn't wait to get away from you. Now, surely somewhere in your mind, you're an intelligent woman, Stephanie. Surely you can read the handwriting on the wall that maybe, just maybe, you ought to consider changing your way. You want me to change my ways. Yeah, I don't think it's such a bad idea, Stephanie. I mean, the old ways weren't that successful. You lost your husband and all your children. Well, Eric and I, for your information, are closer than we have been in years. And as for my lost children, thank goodness they have gone on with their own lives and they left my home when it was the proper time for them to do so. What are you doing? Me? My life's just fine. Oh, really? Well, here you are at my front door seeking my approval, and that's always a very good sign. A sign of what? That things aren't going the way you want them to. And in order to make your life more palatable, you come over here and you want to drag me down to your level. That is not why I came over here. Oh, Sally, you're so transparent. You're one of those people that cannot be happy unless the person that you respect is miserable. Well, everybody has problems, Sally. I have problems, but I'm coping with them. And what are you doing about them? I'll tell you what you're doing. You come over here and you throw ugly innuendos in my face, hoping that I'll bleed. And if that's the case, then it'll make your life more palatable for you. Well, isn't that sad? Really? When are you going to get some self-respect? And don't come groveling for my approval anymore. That fiasco at your collection, 
That was the lowest of the law. And everyone knew it. Everyone knew it. Leave, Sally. You can show yourself out the door. <laughs>